Hello guys, welcome back to the new tutorial. In this tutorial, we're just gonna be continuing um, the, where we stopped in the last episode. So in the last episode, for those who weren't following and for those who are new, we did the battery for our flashlight and before that we did a flashlight. So if you're interested in those episodes, I will leave the links uh, below and we can start. So basically today we are just creating hood for the battery so we can uh, check how much battery we have left it's very simple very quick so let's go first i want to go to my website that i created recently it's called summonable.com i'm gonna put it in description i was just editing my video and i realized my uh, video just cut off so what i was showing was we go to the shop we select the battery we go to checkout we enter our email and this is gonna be your email that you're gonna get your stuff to so just type your email and place order and now you register with your email and you click download and you have your icon and this is what you get so we can continue with tutorial First thing that we want to do is we're going to create new folder, we're going to call it uh, HUD and here we're going to go to the user interface, widget blueprint, user widget and we're just going to call it player HUD. You can call it uh, whatever you want but for the sake of tutorial we're just gonna, we are just going to call it player HUD. So when we are here we need to add our canvas and now we want to add progress bar in our canvas it's basically gonna this is gonna be the thing that is gonna tell us how much battery we have left we're gonna make it like this we're gonna anchor it to the bottom so wherever our screen goes wherever our si whatever size of our screen is we're always gonna have it in the same, same spot and we're gonna select bottom to top so it's gonna feel like oh sorry from top to bottom Oh, so it's gonna feel like this and yes so basically now we want to add our image this is the icon that we downloaded and we're just gonna put it here as well like this we're gonna anchor it to the bottom as well we're gonna select brush and yes first we need to add the image so we download the file you remember from the website we're just gonna hold it like this and now it's here so now you click on this image go to the player hud click this arrow and we have our battery so we can put it wherever we want i'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger like this you can fit it however you want I'm just gonna put it like this nothing too fancy it's just it looks nice so we know for what this HUD is we can actually we can make it uh, left to right so our our progress bar is gonna go from the left to right I think it's gonna make it a bit more smooth because our battery is already in this position so we're just gonna make it like this perfect and now we can uh, choose uh, color of our bar so we're just gonna put something like maybe mm, maybe something like this so when our bar goes off so basically when we use the battery it's gonna go like this so that works perfectly so first thing now that we want to do is we want to go to the graph and we want to call our third person character or whatever character you are it can be first person as well depending on what temp template you use so we're gonna get get all uh, actors of class we're gonna select our third person character also it's it's very important to select the one that you have so you might have the first person i don't know but take care of that and now we're just gonna get copy and we are going to promote it to the variable and it's going to be our player reference so basically we are casting for our player 
and we will need it for the thing here. So we go to the progress bar, we go bind, create binding, and this right here is gonna show us how much battery we have. So the thing we want to do here is we want to get our player reference. We can just pull it from here and we can get battery and we can just pull it like this. We can divide, we're gonna divide with 100. So if we have 100 battery divided by 100, we're gonna have one. So if it's just simpler and the smaller numbers and it feels a bit smoother. So when we hit compile and we go to the Oh yeah, we forgot about something. We have to go to the content, to the third person blueprints, and we need to go to our third person character. And basically we, we now created a widget, but we don't have widget in the viewport. So we need to create widget, select player hub, like this, and we will just add it to viewport. And with this being here, we can just hit play. Now we have battery. If we pre if we if we press F, it's gonna lower our battery. So when we don't have battery anymore, it's just gonna go off. So there we go. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, I'm gonna teach you how to create battery pickups. See ya.